the biggest challenge facing the development of STEM in Africa is a set of enabling university institutions. In order to do education, whether it's STEM or some other field, including the professions, you must have institutions that are prepared to provide the learning environment and the transition to the world of work. The greatest opportunity and the one with the most immediate impact will be medicine and engineering. In medicine, there is the opportunity to address some of the diseases and other sources of illness and sickness. Uh, and with respect to engineering, there's the opportunity to deal with the infrastructure needs of the continent. Both require education, both require labs, both require quantitative thinking. I support NEF because it represents an outstanding model for providing educational opportunity in STEM areas. It's especially valuable because it is an intention, that is, they aim for excellence and they aim for STEM. That's an easy choice to make in terms of my support and my uh, endorsement. My interest is urban studies and city planning so part of the issue is how to create human settlements in different parts of Africa to address the migration and urbanization problem. If people are able to find livelihoods and support in whatever part of Africa they are, then there's less inclination to move into crowded areas that provide relatively few opportunities. Uh, I think women bring something special. Uh, it's often said that if you educate a woman, you educate a family. And that is part of the nurturing role, part of the uh, opportunity that women have for spreading their benefits through the family. So I think there's a special value in educating women.